So fifty-four, five thousand dollars and sixty-five hundred. So that means that is ten, sixteen thousand. Oh my God! Y'all ain't gonna believe this video, man. What is going on, YouTube? What is going on, YouTube? Oh snap! Wait a minute, damn it! Hold on. Ugh. So I ended up getting some fuel, right? Okay, that doesn't lined up. Here we go. Here we go. So I ended up getting some fuel on the way up here, and um, I, originally I was gonna stop at TA, and then as I was driving, I saw an off-brand mom and pops. They out here talking about two ninety-nine. I'm like, <laughs> forget the extra points, forget the extra point. You two, we stopping, we getting this fuel damage. So that's what I did right here. So I gotta pull it up. Hold on. Yes, sir. So that's what we did. That's what I did. I went ahead and got stopped. I stopped over there. The mom and pops. I was going to get 30 gallons because I did want it to fuel at the TA. But as I was pumping, I'm like, you know what? Damn, this damn man, the cheapest fuel I've gotten in there in a while. Even at the TA. Now, I'm just talking about up front. The TA and Petro, if you've if you been watching my video long enough, you know how that works. What you actually see at the pump is not what yours truly pay. It is not. We pay something different. But uh, I was at 30 gallons. It's like 70 bucks. I'm like, well, damn. Long story short, I ended up getting 75 gallons for like 250 bucks. So, anyway, else, we were probably looking at like $300 or whatever. So, it was it was the damn near $40. It was 40 cent cheaper than the loves I crossed the street from the mom and pop store. So this is where I'm most likely going to stay to 12 o'clock, yeah. I know you always hear me talking about the 500 mile club, but let me tell you how much I did today. Oh, look, come on now. Get your focus on now, damn it. Uh, hold on, hold on, come on now. Let me give you a dark skin to look at. There you go. All right, there you go. 265 miles is all I did today. Why? Because it's Recap Jones time, ladies and gentlemen. Recap's going to kick in. Let me, hold on, give it a dark skin of focus on. There you go. Recap's going to kick in. And when it does, I'm only getting four hours and 23 minutes. My summary, that's how much I got my 70. Hold on, take off the dark skin. Bring the dark skin back in. There you go. I only got... Five hours and 42 minutes left. I woke up this morning. I had nine. I had 10 hours and 15 minutes or something like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not about to sit. I'm not sitting for no 36. It's not happening. It's not happening. But what I can do is get 200 miles in, 300 miles in, and make it happen. Because my big recaps come in. Not tomorrow, because I'm only getting four hours or something. But that will get me about 10 hours back on the clock. And once I get that 10 hours, I already know after that. I already know on Sunday, I'm getting 10 hours and 16 minutes. And that's going to be the game changer. So tomorrow, when I wake up tonight, get these four hours and, uh, and 23 minutes in. That's going to get me to 9 hours. Naturally, that's going to get me 10 hours because I got 5 hours and 42 minutes left on the 70. That's how you got to do it. That's how you got to do it so you don't have to stop ever. You don't have to stop. Now, now if you don't plan it ahead of time, sometimes you might only end up having yesterday or 12 o'clock today, this morning. I only got 55 minutes, but I planned my recaps when I left the house. I left the house on Saturday now, okay? I planned my recaps. So ever since Saturday to now, 
I've only been doing about nine and a half to ten hours. That's it. That's it. I pull over with well over an hour and a half left on the clock. Every day, every day on the eleven. I've been planning it. So I got 55 minutes. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I drove 200 and something miles. Make sure I left. Make sure I left enough, right? That's what I did. That's what I did, YouTube. And now when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to have 10 hours. Then I go back to my to the regular schedule programming of nine and a half hours drive a day, 600 miles. Yeah, that, 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 that's what I do. I don't know how y'all drive. I don't know how y'all drive. But with nine and a half hours, me, I can get over 600 miles. That's what happened when uh, you don't have governor on your truck. You can do this. So that's what I do. So tomorrow I'm going to wake up today. I'm going to do my 8 or 9 because I know, well, at midnight after tomorrow, I'm getting 10 hours and 16 minutes. That's the move, YouTube. That's what is going on on this side. Uh, I hate sitting around during the day. And right now, it's only 146. <laughs> oh my God. It's only freaking 146 p.m. And I'm already done trucking. But it is what it is, right? It beats better than me sitting in Pecos the whole time. So I made it to Abilene. And after, t so which means I can do some nighttime driving tomorrow if I want to. I can do some nighttime, nighttime driving. I can, shh, cause let's say it's one o'clock right now. By twelve o'clock, once I get my hours, but I can start rolling at twelve thirty if I want to. Just drive at night, no disturbance at all, and just chill. But I don't know if I want to do that because I hate driving at night. It's not because I can't. I'm used to driving at night, but it's because. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot, YouTube. I do not want to be taking my 10-hour break during the day. That's why I, That's why I, in the summer, I'm, I don't do nighttime driving, man. In the summer, I don't do night driving. I can handle driving at night just fine. I used to do it all the time. In, like, December, I'm going to be doing all the time. But now, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 no. But anyways, this video is, uh... It's going to be a straight run. I don't want to cut nothing. So it just, it is what it is. So the load I'm on, right? One thing I've always heard when I started at Land Star was there's no good load coming out of El Paso. In other words, if you're in Texas, you anywhere, you get a load going to El Paso. Don't do it, man. Don't do it because it's hard. El Paso is small. The, on, the only thing next up, El Paso, you got Los Cruces, New Mexico. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, blah, blah, blah. You got Arizona. Long story short, it's kind of true. It is kind of true. It's hard to get a load out of El Paso. Or the loads that do come out of El Paso don't pay jack. You know what I'm saying? They don't pay because supply and demand. There's more drivers there. There's more trucks than the loads available. So, but. <laughs> but the kid changed the game, you two. We changed the game. We changed the game. First of all, I left the house on the 15th, right? No, no, that's a lie. On Saturday, I meant to say on Saturday. So whatever Saturday was. So Saturday was probably. We're about to figure this out right there. Oh, oh, Man, shout out to my boy, man. Shout out to my boy, Mouse to Burn. Yes, my boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to my boy, Mouse to Burn, man. I'm supporting all the YouTube family members, man. If you're part of the family, you got a YouTube channel, you better let me know now. You better let me know. Because I'm going to support you because you support me. Let's get to this calendar. Okay, so. So Saturday was the 11th. No, that's Sunday, damn it. That's Sunday. The tenth, the tenth. Okay. So the tenth and today's the seventeenth. So in seven days, okay. So today's Saturday. I left last Saturday. On the tenth. I took a load, which y'all should have seen in the last video. Last video. I don't know when I'm dropping this. I don't know yet, but speaking of videos, if you haven't seen the last video I dropped, make sure you go, you watch that video. Make sure you watch the video, man. And y'all, man, I'm trying to get there with the cool kids, y'all. 
So I need some subscribers, bro. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I just, I just want to be able to do YouTube stories, bro. Y'all know how I be on Snapchat. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine if I got a YouTube story? Man, it's, it'll be game over, y'all. It'll be game over. I just, I just like being involved with my people, man, without having to do whole complete videos all the time. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, so I got the load from Port Arthur. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should have seen that last video. And that low was, it was 49, whatever, moving to $5,000 to go to Kentucky. From Kentucky, I then book a load. This is all within the seven days, because today's Saturday now, okay? Where's my phone? Because a lot of people like to say how things are fake and how people lying about stuff. I don't know, but that, right here, that's today. That's today, the 17 now, okay? So from Kentucky. So that's 5000 then from Kentucky. Got me a load going to El Paso. I dropped that off. That load paid 5400 Are you listening? <laughs> Are you listening to me, you too? Are you listening to me? I hope you're listening, man. I hope you're listening. Okay, so I dropped that off yesterday. So that's, that's dropped. That's done. That's, and then from El Paso, the place... That never has good loads based on what everybody told me. The place that never has good loads coming out of, I was able to pick up a load yesterday from El Paso now. Listen to me, man. Get closer to the dark skin so, so you can hear what I'm saying. Get, get closer from El Paso. I was able to get a load going to Virginia. 20,000 pounds, which is what I'm on right now. Right now, I'm in Abilene, but I'm under the load. Now, now today is Saturday now. Keep in mind, today is Saturday, you too. So, within a week, this load paying $6,500. So, technically, I can say to you, which I might do that on the title. I might, I might do that. I don't know. I might do that. I might do that. So, within seven days, I can technically say I got under. Yes, this load hasn't been delivered yet. So, I'm, I haven't received the money, the settlement for this load I'm on going to Virginia. But, I can take the advance on this load right now. So, I got under, I got in possession of, within seven days, a $5,000 load, a $5,400 load. So, what is that? That's 11 racks, right? Give and take, no. 54, so that's 10. $10,000, okay. And I got me uh, in possession of a $6,500 load. All in seven days. Uh, matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be the title of this video, man. In seven days, I was able to secure. You know what? I may have to screenshot and show this because I know people are going to be saying I'm lying. People are going to be saying I'm lying. Now, keep in mind, this load is scheduled to deliver on the 21st, though. So let's now... Get that screwed up. This is the last load. But I got under all three of those loads in seven days. Keep that in mind. That's the whole point. Under this load, meaning ain't nobody going to take this load from me unless God forbid something bad with the truck and I get an SOS. So please, once again, right here, that's where we are. So please, don't interpret this wrong. The haters going to come up anyways and say something. That's fine, that's fine. I'm cool with that. But it's seven days now. Today's the 17th. I left the house last Saturday, which was the 10th. In seven days, I was able to secure. Ah, damn, that's ridiculous, bro. 16, over $16,000 because, because technically the, the first log on the Kentucky was like 4900 The one El Paso was 54 So let's say, bam, 5000 So that's, so, so. 54, you move in the one, 4,900 plus one, bam, 5,000. So 5,300 plus 65. Matter of fact, let's, uh, we're going to do some math here. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be guessing. We're not playing no guessing game. I don't want the haters to have no room to come at me saying I'm making stuff up. I might even show you all the screenshot. 
the the videos I recorded before this, y'all should see the screenshot on this load I'm on because I did a video on it. So, uh, so, so forty nine hundred plus fifty four hundred, the Kentucky load, so El Paso, right? Plus sixty five hundred, which is the load I'm on right now, the twenty thousand pound load that I'm on right now, right? What? Hold on, let me make sure y'all can see this. Cause what? I secured this in seven freaking days, y'all. I don't know why my camera be like that, but there you go. Sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars. What? <laughs> what? What? Okay. What? Okay. What? Okay. Look, man. Look. Look, man. $16,800 gross secured. Once again, though, this one don't drop off to the 21st, okay? Because the load itself was about 1,700 miles. Actually, no. The whole distance of the load, I still got 1,400 miles to go, okay? So don't get it twisted. I'm not saying I dropped it off yet. This is going to Virginia, and I'm still under this load. But in seven days, I was able to secure Sixteen thousand eight hundred freaking dollars, dude. The creep. I don't know what you are doing, but the cripple kid is just out here killing them. He's killing them, killing them, killing them, man. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Trucking. I'm tell, bro. First of all, I want to I wanna do a disclaimer. I know I show a lot of numbers, but I feel like in trucking, that's the only reason why I'm in trucking is for numbers. That's it. I, I'm not in trucking because I love trucking, bro. I'm beginning to like the lifestyle it can afford me, but you ain't in trucking because you love trucking. Don't lie to me, dude. Don't lie to me. You're not in trucking because you just love being away from your family. Because you just love sitting in a truck getting fat. Because you just love driving 11 hours a day. That's not why you're in trucking. You're in trucking because of the numbers. The numbers which translate to money. And I am the only damn trucker on YouTube that getting y'all involved, full disclosure, on the life, bro. On my life. The numbers, all the truckers gonna motivate you. Yeah, you can do that. Like I said, man. So, come on, man. Come on, y'all. Do me a favor, bro. I love doing this. I love to show y'all what the truck is making. I love to show y'all the potential what you can make out here. But I need y'all, man, just to support me a little bit. Just subscribe, turn on that notification, man. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subs. I know it's crazy. I don't have 10,000 subscribers. It's really crazy. Somebody gonna be like, what? As much views as you get, bro, you don't have to. I don't have 10,000 subscribers because of probably, you know, people like you, bro. You watch my videos all the time, but you ain't subscribed, bro. I'm just asking you, subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe to the channel. I want to keep inspiring, bro. Look, if a cripple kid can be out here getting money, you can be out here getting money. And I'm not just talking about getting money. I'm showing you all numbers, bro. So just like I'm going to put the screenshot uh, 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 of these three loads, if y'all want to see them together, I'm going to show them to y'all so y'all know I'm not BSing, bro. It's, this is not a matter of BSing. The, the money is there. The money is freaking here, man. Come on. What you waiting for? YouTube, you know what the deal is. The baddest man in the land. Oh, my, my dad goes down. Man, YouTube. My videos are real. My videos are raw. My videos are authentic. You can't talk trucking without putting Chasing Mr. Hamilton in it. Please subscribe, comment, engage with the video, man. Just let me know what you think of my channel or whatever. You got a question, whatever, man. Also, follow the kid on Snapchat. I'm going to probably put that up here, too. I don't really like editing. That's why this video is going to it's straight run, man. But I will cut whatever, blah, 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 and put the Snapchat in here, man. Subscribe, bro. That's it. Once again, when I believe... Trying to capitalize on this damn recaps, my boy.